Welcome back to my YouTube channel, everyone. Kura Savage, aka Kaya, back with another video. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and just hit the. <laughs> I told you, you guys. Every time, I start talking so fast, and it's like, Bleh. all right. For those of you who are not subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button below, so you can be notified every week when I upload new videos. Okay, got it out that time. Today, I'm going to be talking about why I decided to get my. MPH. For those of you who don't know, it's a master in public health. Or a master's in public health. So stick around and watch the entire video for those who are interested to know. Public health promotes and protects the health of people and the communities where they live, learn, work, and play. While a doctor treats people who are sick, those who are working in public health try to prevent, all about prevention, try to prevent uh, people from getting sick or injured in the first place. We also promote wellness by encouraging healthy behaviors. And um, public health encompasses so many different things. I like that it just said healthy behavior because we talk a lot about social behavioral things, which kind of reminds me of psychology. Um, but I decided public health, I really feel like I didn't even decide. It kind of just chose me, as crazy as that sounds. I'm all about advocating for people who can't advocate for themselves. and. Um, I feel as though public health is just that. Everybody who follows me on Instagram, follows Curtis Savage on Instagram, or follows me personally on Instagram, or knows me personally, or checks out my website, watches my videos, you know I used to work for Yale. And what I, what I was doing there was I was working with the Department of Public Health to assure that international students were up to date with their vaccination. So you know, MMR, which is measles, mumps, rubella, meningococcal B, meningitis, um, varicella, which is chicken pox, um, flu, all those types of things, and educating them to understand why it was so important. In a lot of countries, medicine is socialized where infants or children of a certain age, I don't know when, but they'll only get one MMR vaccination or they'll only get one varicella vaccination and that's supposed to protect them from the disease, but in reality in the US, that's why they require two. It's just supposed to be given after, after you turn one and then again a few years later to assure that you're protected. That's why we were making sure international students were getting, had two because a lot of countries only give one. Anyway, I loved it. I loved educating people on health and what I liked about it was okay wow if I'm making sure that these people have their vaccinations chances are varicella or chicken pox or you know rubella or meningitis won't break out on campus affecting so many other people and even though you do get two vaccinations some people who get the two aren't protected which is why it's important for everyone to have at least two. Or they're not fully protected, but that's why it's important for new people to come to make sure they have two so that it doesn't thrive on campus. But I just like that I was educating people and you know, telling stuff that, them stuff that they didn't know, reassuring them that you know vaccinations are safe. And it felt like it was a really good public health initiative. And now I know why schools make sure that happens to prevent disease from thriving on a campus where people live in such close quarters. I was working with an RN and and she was like a mentor to me. She taught me everything I needed to know about public health. She had her MPH as well. And we would have long discussions about um, different health issues and um, different outbreaks that happened on college campuses and why it's so important for people to get a vaccination and what is public health. And from then, I just fell in love with the work I was doing. So she told me that I should apply to med school. Yes, because that's the big goal. But she also said, why not apply to the public health program at Yale? Like, you'll totally get in, like, you'll love the program, all that stuff. And I was like, hmm, it's a good idea. So I started looking into public health programs just off of the strength of loving what I was doing at work. I did research at Yale's, you know, public health program, and, you know, it was very, very scientific based. It was like infectious disease. Infectious disease and epidemiology were the only ones I remember because those are the ones I was most interested in but epidemiology is the study of disease frequency. So I thought, okay, well that's interesting. It's kind of numbers based and you know, a little bit of stats here and there, but it wasn't really what I loved. So I re registered for SOFAs, which is the website where you a public, apply for, I think, public health programs, so, or maybe just grad school in general. And then I got a letter in the mail saying that I was being recruited by Charles Drew University, or I got a letter telling me to apply or something like that. So I said, okay, do I want to live in Connecticut? Or do I want to go back to LA? Pay, pay no rent in LA, because my mom lives here. Pay rent in Connecticut, even though rent in Connecticut is like nothing. But ultimately, I didn't want to stay in Connecticut anymore. 
for different reasons so I decided to apply to that one program and I got in like three weeks later or something like that yeah that's how I ended up at Charles Drew University it was kind of just like a it just happened and also I love the program uh, urban disparities and you know minority health talking about race it, it, it was health with social justice in the same aspect and I was like wow this is so interesting so I am now in my third semester I have two more semesters I graduate in May of 2018 and uh, this is why I say I kind of just fell into it everything I've learned for the most part I've truly truly enjoyed truly enjoyed I learned epidemiology biostats racing uh, race and culture as it relates to public health understanding different people's um, backgrounds and, and why understanding different people's cultures and how you should communicate with them based off that why public health I believe if I do choose to for continue my education and go to med school it will make me a phenomenal physician I don't want to just fix people with medicine I want to fix them with prevention and I could see myself moving forward, maybe being a public health consultant. I've thought about public health consulting in Europe. I've thought about um, staying in pharmaceuticals, in the regulatory affairs, medical affairs, because a lot of people in pharmaceuticals, regulatory affairs, medical affairs, have their MPH. If I were to stay in pharmaceuticals, I would like to be a part of the rare disease space where you're targeting a specific demographic, but we need to be careful how we're targeting them based off of their culture and their race. So I love public health. I think anyone who's interested in health should definitely look into getting their MPH. It can only help you. I rambled on. I ramble a lot about things I'm passionate about. There are three things I'll ramble about. Traveling, career savage, and um, anything medicine or science. Actually four, because I really like stocks too. So I guess like a little bit of, a little bit of the finance too. But yeah. Uh, anyone who has questions, if they're interested in getting in public health, go ahead and visit my website. Schedule a time to meet with me. Um, I would love to talk to you about it if that's what you want to do. Thank you so much for watching and check back every week for new YouTube videos.